Oh, gee golly. So, I was like, yo, bro, She-Hulk, it's over. The season finale's done. That shit was whack. We all know this. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> Woo, She-Hulk creator admits that the Marvel Cinematic Universe show was just trolling the fans. We're like, oh, you you were trolling the fans? Like, we knew it already. This is, this is the same format they've been using. Marvel's been like... And, and Kevin Feige's been very open. The guy from Marvel, like, bro, he don't like this shit, but he can't say shit right now, because wokeness. Creator says, She-Hulk was aimed at toxic fanboys who love Marvel comics and the movies. This is lady already. I don't know shit from Marvel, but I don't like fanboys. So I'm going to make a story, piss them off. Common sense, that shit going to fail. How can you alienate your own fan base, bro? <laughs> this, this is... How, how people do not see this? This is some basic ass shit, you know? And I need to tell you that Marvel is probably mostly men. I'd say, like, let's just say around 80%, right, are men. And you're going to make an anti-men <laughs> kind of feminist. It's got no fail common sense. So this is what they said, bro. The creator said She-Hulk was aimed at toxic fanboys who love Marvel comics and the movies. The creator first showed their hand in episode three with a whole montage focused on a bunch of guys saying she's too derivative and emasculate hope or debating whether or not she was bangable. So I'm like, this is really what they think guys are like thinking. Like, this, this is kind of funny. It's like, no, bro, no one gives a f on anything. When she Hulk came out, first thing I thought, like, how is Marvel going to this shit up? Like, how? Because... She-Hulk is the shit, okay? This is the thing, I'll be honest. She-Hulk, comic book, She-Hulk, she's perfect. You can make a fucking dope-ass show out of her. Just her being smart. You won't get told that for trying to make a super smart woman because She-Hulk is fucking smart. She is a fucking attorney. She grinds. She's a hardworking. She's fucking dope. You could have make a whole core thing, right? And put the Hulk part in there where she's a fucking superhero with action. It's the perfect formula to make a perfect show. Instead, it's like, nah, bro, we're gonna make an anti male fucking show. It's like, bro, you already ruined the show. This is what happens when you put in feminist or politics shit in a show that has nothing to do with it. And to say that, oh, is she bangable? Like, bro, this is like bro talk from like in the 90s. Guys do talk about stuff like that, but it's like, this is a view on a girl. And this is the Wham explaining thing when you're just like, bro, this is really what they think. Of course, we can't say that shit. If we, if we're we're women explaining a show that is mostly men, but all right, whatever. So the show also had explicitly pro-feminist messaging since the first episode, as Jen navigates the double standards for female superheroes, but she tried to compare her suffering to male gazes with everything so she can deserve to be angrier than him or something. So in other words, this is a funny thing about girls sometimes. The way they speak, they kind of show you what they really mean. So let's dissect this shit, right? Essentially, this was uh, expli explicitly pro-feminist messaging, right? And trust me, we know it was really fucking obvious. Down to like the trolls and all this and the messaging and anti. Bro, this shit get boring real fucking quick. We read it. You guys think you're being fucking meta and shit and all this? It's like, nah, bro. This shit was just straight up fucking whack. She wanted to talk about the standards for female superheroes. Bro, there is no double standards. This is a problem. You don't make your own superhero. All you did is take a male version of a superhero, make it feminine, and expect it to be as good as a male version. Of course not. It's not gonna do good. You just took the shit from a show, from a hero that was originally a male, make it as female, make it your own, and expect people to like it more. This is common sense, bro. That shit whack. <laughs> How do people not understand this, bro? Like, seriously? Oh, also, she wanted to navigate the double standards for female superheroes. And she tried to compare the suffering from male, uh, from male gazes with Bruce Banner. Suffering the loss of everything. So she deserved to be angrier than him. So this is like... Bro, women got so much 
benefits now, bro. And, and it's funny now that, like, in this world, bro, girls got way more benefits than men. Men can't do shit now. And to be out of the audacity to say that women are suffering, bro. Like, here in Los uh, here in, in the United States, by the way, I'm not talking to other countries. Like, here, girls got it good. They get fat, bro. And to say that, oh, this is going to show the double standards of men and women, bro. We saw it. We saw it. Okay, let's go back to episode one, bro. Episode one, some random dudes are trying to help her, bro. And they ask her for help. She was going to turn to the Green Hulk and destroy them and kill them. Luckily, Hulk the man came and, and saved her from fucking going to jail, bro. And which she'd probably be okay. Because in this show, this girl broke shit. She people over. She kept talking about people having accountability and stuff. And this woman trashes everything and gets away with it because show. Because, <laughs> you know, plot armor. I don't know. Bro, she was about to kill innocent men. Bro, if that shit got switched around where the Hulk came in and he was angry because some girls come in and say, are you okay? Do you need some help? Don't talk to me, toxic woman. Yeah. Oh, bro. This boy would have been going to jail. Fucking Iron Man would have come out with the punk buster suit, beat the shit out of him, probably have to castrate his ass. Bro, the double standards that they were talking about, it only showed how obvious women easy got it bro this this move this show was so half big it's like um these shows bro uh, same thing scooby-doo what happened to scooby-doo bro they took they castrated the show they took something that already got fame because it's loved how it is and they change it to hit their narrative and they say like we got the part so that means that you guys need to like it because we we've we seen that it's successful but we're gonna put woke shit how come people don't like my shit of course they don't this shit is horrible. It's a garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, lead actress Tatiana Maslany. Uh, I probably spelled this shit wrong. Bro, I'm dumb. I'm very open about this shit. Was on board with the trolling fans saying it was fine with her to really give them something to complain about with the series. And they did. It sucked. So we complained. So it worked. And if you're still complaining, saying that, bro, this show, you know, is a. Uh, it's just the man being racist. It's like, bro, here, here's the Rotten Tomato list, bro. So, Miss Marvel, yo. These are all the shows that Disney made. They made all these woke shows, bro. Miss Marvel. The critics always try their best to make it look good. 97% critics for Miss Marvel. 80% of the audience said, bro, this shit was trash. It's not too bad, right? What if 94, audience 93. That one was fucking banger. Hell yeah. That was a good one. Because that had nothing to do with all this feminist shit. Loki, 92 critics. The audience gave it 90. Bro, the audience always low-key be over fucking... They don't want shit to die. So, WandaVision got a 91 from critics. People were like, eh, 88%. Bro, She-Hulk, bro. The audience... The, the critics gave it 86%. Even they know this shit was trash. They didn't even give it a 90, bro. They said... We can't cap, bro. This shit is fucking tragic. But we'll give it an 86. This is as much as we can slide, bro. The audience does not lie, bro. They're like, 35%, bro. And I can tell you right now, that 35%, most of them were bots, bro. And they kept deleting comments, too. So it just shows you, bro. This phase four, the shittiest of the shittiest, is She-Hulk. And they have the audacity to complain that they're upset that people didn't like it. Bro, you can't force people to like it. The people have spoken. It is trash. Simple as that. Bro, that's why you got Rotten Tomato audiences. They tell you the truth, right? That shit was trash, bro. It, it, it was. I gave it a chance. The Daredevil part gave me hype. And the only reason was because of Daredevil. And that's like probably the only fight scene they had. <laughs> Seriously? The finale was complete trash. There wasn't even a fucking fight. They did this meta shit. Which totally backfired. And it made no sense. And the logic of the story was. Women had no accountability for anything. And at the very end. They had to give her a metaphor. Change the whole world everybody's idea everyone views so she can be correct and have an happy ending it was trash all of this confused confused the marvel universe is it is this shit canon now bro why she broke I, like i was left confused and not a good confused like whoa so mad 
Bro, you ain't Deadpool, bro. That shit, that shit was failed. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. Bro, are you one of the few people that thought She-Hulk was good? I want to know. Why do you think it's so good? I actually want to know. Leave me a comment. Like and subscribe. Let me know. And that is all. Peace.